Hey guys, so um, welcome back. We're having another review of a uh, portable power station, power generator, power bank, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. But also, I want to say that I think in today's age uh, and how things are going with the power outages and storms, hurricanes, and whatnot, I think having something like this, uh, whichever you pick or whichever you buy, is a must. Uh, I've lived through it with the power outages for more than a week here in Texas. Uh, and I had a small one similar to this and it it really helped uh, so with that being said this is the million 622 watt hour power station I just got this maybe less than a week ago and I've been testing it uh, right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning it's very cloudy I have a 120 watt uh, a solar panel and just to give you an idea I live in an apartment and I have this uh, solar panel uh, just hanging on, the, on my balcony and right now is not a very good day but actually this is more of a, a realistic or how you would probably get in a cloudy day on a 120 watt panel and it's on like I said it's only 10 o'clock uh, so it's getting 5 watts and where I'm positioned my panel is not very ideal so I can probably get more even though it's a cloudy day but like I said I'm very limited where I'm at but anyways I've had this charge before and uh, I've had it as high as 90 watts uh, charging through my solar uh, panel so that was pretty good uh, later on down the day um, if the Sun comes up uh, and clear and clear cleared up I will show it to you guys how it's going but just to give a brief summarize of this solar panel I mean a solar generator so it has a DC input I wish we had an Anderson connector in this uh, uh, solar generator it would have been really nice the display is okay uh, I got this solar generator for really good price so I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna complain about it but it could do some uh, improvement uh, especially uh, if it can give you how many times you have how many hours you have left running this thing if you have a load on it that would have been an improvement uh, right now all it's giving is the input and output and the percentage of what's left and that's all you're gonna get uh, other pa uh, my uh, my other power station does not give a percentage it gives an input and an output while wattage but it also gives the time remaining so you have a very a pretty good idea on what's left it has a US uh, BC PD 100 watt input and output and 3 USB uh, 2 uh, uh, plugs that you can use your AC power and 2 DC input as well as a they call it cigarette plug. Uh, I don't know what you call it now, but it's also a DC input. So there you go. So I will show you later on uh, all kinds of things that you can plug into this. And, and from what I've used it for, it's been very good. Uh, I'm going camping in about three weeks from now and so that will be a good test of this
I also want to add about the pricing on this right now it uh, I bought this on Amazon and I had a really good deal on it at that time it, it offered 40% off so I got this for about 299 which is really good for the amount of um, power it has um, so keep an eye on that on Amazon or whatever website you want to buy this to uh, it gives a great discount at times so uh, right now I think it's giving away uh, a coupon for $100 off uh, you know you compare this to other brand names like Blue Eddy and Jackery and uh, EcoFlow I think for $299 you cannot beat that 100 watt input on, uh, on PD USB-C although it's one some most of the jackers don't even have that uh, uh, 100 watt and some of the blue eddies don't even have that and you have to pay so much more for those um, like I said this is not perfect but this uh, power station power generator uh, whatever it is um, it's a pretty good bang for the buck but like I said I'll show you more on what you can power with this practicality and maybe some that are not very practical but uh, I'll show you more later on in the video a real quick update the Sun has come up a little bit uh, still cloudy but it picked in a little bit and it's still not a direct hit on my solar panel but it's giving out good output 63 I mean input 63 watts uh, we are 16 percent it's currently 11 o'clock so i'm sure it'll get better i'll keep you guys posted quick just a quick update uh right here we were at 87 there you go it's going back up 84 85 it's about 12 noon it was at 90 earlier so so far so good So if you really wanted to speed up the charging of this device, you can set up two panels and if you want, this is just to simulate two panels. I don't have two panels, but just to simulate and to show you that you can actually get about 140 watts input from two source, so I got this going in from my solar panel and this one is also an input I'm using my solar my, my other solar power station it can probably put put out more but this one has an only 60 watt limit so if you have another solar panel maybe 100 120 watt they can, this can probably charge it at a wattage of maybe 160, 170, maybe more. So that will cut down the time significantly. So that's another idea of how fast you can charge this thing. You can use the USB-C, plug it into your solar input and charge the uh, DC to another solar panel and you can get about 140 160 and cut down the time on the charging 